took away my Xion. I'm not happy right now. I'm very unhappy right now. For a multitude of reasons. Test subject number 1273. The spirit channeling ceremony will begin shortly. Until then, you are to calm your mind and await further instructions. After all this time, I'll be free from this hell. I can finally go home. I doubt I'll ever see this place again. Might as well walk the block once more for old time's sake. Astral energy charging almost complete. Output stable standing by. So here's the thing. That was a really strong emotional moment where she and he touched and he felt pain for the first time. And her response to it where she was crying and gave up. Like, I get all of that. And I don't want to jump straight to judging the game, but... I really don't like when games do the storyline where the girl gets captured and gets turned into a caged thing you have to go rescue. Like, that trope is really, really old. Really, really old. And I'm... I'm... This game is better than that, or has been so far. So, Can't you, Danons, figure out where to go on your own? Or are you so stupid you managed to get lost in a tiny place like this? You have a job to do. Now do it. Return to your position. So I'm still a Danon. Okay. The Maiden will maintain control over things. You just focus on not breaking your concentration while the ceremony is in progress. If you want to see your home again, you'll have to do a good job here, number 1273. To be honest, I was beginning to sweat bullets. If you hadn't worked out, who knows what we would have done. This is the first time we've managed to assemble a sovereign and maiden ready for the ceremony after all. But seeing you make it all the way to the to today has put my fears to rest. The thing is, like, I'm upset about it. But at the same time, like, there is potential for them to make this work and be good. Looking at the statistics, a subject's biological sex appears to have almost no bearing on the rate of success or failure. I don't know who got it in their head to start calling you sovereign. At the end of the day, you're nothing more than a test subject. Your only worth lies in your physical aptitude for the task at hand. Your thoughts and feelings are of no concern. Uh, Dan and test subject as our sovereign, eh? I expect you to carry out your function without falling apart like the others, understand? Another one bites the dust. Remember, number 1273, you're our only success story. Do not let all our hard work and research go to waste at any cost. I don't think I talked to silly girl. Daddy hasn't come home lately, so I decided to come visit him. But they won't let me go any further. It's not fair. I hope he finishes his work soon so I can see him. Is the test subject... Is this the test subject, ma'am? Wow, it looks just like us. On the outside, maybe. Inside, it's an uncivilized as the rest of them. You haven't forgotten my warning from earlier, I hope. No, ma'am. No touching the test subject, right? You 
you are not authorized to enter this room. Return to your position and wait for the ceremony to begin. Okay. And you probably can't go that way either. So what, do I just go back to my room? I should take a moment to note that Lady Almadria seemed like a really great bad guy. And then the way she got just destroyed by Volrun was pretty intense. And he has potential to be also a bad guy, but we don't... Her pitch to be villainous was way, like, way better than his so far. I don't know anything about him. So I don't know whether I have a reason to hate him, really. And I don't like that. I, I much prefer her so far, but if she's what I call a step-up bad guy, or I mean, if he's what I call a step-up villain, which means that they use another villain to make him look more villainous and more badass, then it works out okay. But at the same time, like... <sighs> I don't know. I don't like... I have really mixed feelings about everything that just happened, to be honest. Um, I'm going to put my faith in the game because it has been really good so far. And there is ways that they can resolve this with Xion still looking strong and mm, the bad guy looking more villainous and worthwhile. But right now I'm a little bit concerned. I'm not sure where to go now. Oh, here we go. Oh, it's you, number 1273. Or should I say Sovereign? You don't understand how much time and effort we've invested to create you as our lone success. We can't risk losing you to injury at this rate, or at this stage. As usual, nobody wants to explain anything to me. They just threaten and harass me instead. What does everyone think I am? Some sort of talking pet? They're the ones that dragged me all the way up here in the first place. Bastards. I shouldn't have bothered coming out. Might as well head back to my room. It's time, Alpin. It's really happening, huh? Yes, we need to change into our outfits. Then meet in front of the transference device. Once this is all over, you'll finally be able to return home. That's what I'm hoping for. I'm so sorry you got dragged into all of this. It's not your fault. Let's just do what we have to and get this thing over with. Right. I just wanted to go back to Dana, to my home. Alfin. Niori.
Wait, please. Wait, I... I... What was that? That... How long ago was that? <sighs> That's right. Xion! everyone. I need to find them. Better start looking. How did I acquire the Master Corps of Wind and all that mess? I guess that answers though how he's gonna use a blazing sword if he can feel pain now. The answer is he's not. I think he looks ugly and, and, and kind of dopey with his mask on. Here like, I come. He looks better Rising with the mask Iver. on, actually. Rising Wyvern! Great! 
Max! Soaring Light Spear! Here I come! Rising Wyvern! I'm not done! Mirage! Here I come! Rising Wyvern! Soaring Light Spear! Yay, this is so much fun! You're mine! Rising Wyvern! Mirage! You're mine! Rising Wyvern! Mirage! No escape! Soaring Light! Mirage! Strike! Soaring Light Spear! Rising Wyvern! Soaring Light! You're mine! Rising Wyvern! Soaring Light Spear! Mirage! You're finished! Rising Wyvern! Take this! Mirage! Take this! Rising Wyvern! Soaring Light Spear! Mirage! Rising Wyvern! Soaring Light Spear! Mirage! Can't Control use Mystic Art anymore because I don't have the Blazing Swallow Sword. Blade. That's great. Well. What happened just now? Normally you'd be able to take that thing with your eyes closed. Uh, thank goodness you're alive. Are you alright? Yeah. I'm just glad we found you in one piece. You were the only one still missing. There's a village back the way we came from, Thistleim. Kisara and La are already there. Linwell, where are we? Ganeth Haros, Walron's realm, remember? Ushered by the waves straight to the enemy stronghold. A rare stroke of luck, it would seem. Luck? If Volron's here, that means Shion's close too, right? Shion? Oh. Right. Of course. Are you sure you're feeling okay? You seem a little... off. <sighs> He's probably just exhausted. Let's save the catching up for when we're back at the village. Speaking of Thistleim, it's populated by Danans, but they're not under the rule of any lord. Pretty refreshing, huh? The whole town was built by Danan defectors, escapees from elsewhere. This area's teeming with stray zoogles, though, so heaven only knows how they managed to set up a community here. The ordeal seems to have left them understandably on edge. Kisara and La are back there right now, trying to convince them of our good intentions. Say, Elfin, it looks like you got your face back then. Yeah. And your sense of pain, too, it would seem. Any connection? Really? Oh, but that means... Probably. <sighs> Elfin! Boy, am I glad to see you safe! Well, did you manage to convince them we're not in league with any lord? Yeah, eventually. When the ship sank, I thought we were done for. Guess the world just couldn't keep us apart. Yeah, and now we can finally go rescue Xion. There's something I need to tell you guys first.
I... I got my memory back. I'm trying to fix this, but I